What's up, YouTube? Today I'm doing um, the rear shocks on a Toyota RAV4. It's actually a 2011 model. And I gotta get these two bolts. Actually, I gotta take this bolt out. And that's the upper one. And the lower one. It's right here. You can see it right there. The trick to taking the lower one out, and let me see if I could get a good angle. Okay, so the trick in getting the lower one out, once you take the nut off of this side, the bolt is gonna hit this control arm so it won't come straight out so the bracket that it's on I'm sorry for the shaky video but I can't use my tripod to get good angles the bracket that the bolt is on hopefully this is showing but those two bolts have to come out and the entire bracket comes out with it <clears throat> so for the upper it's 17 mil so I gotta use a, a thin 17 so I could get it up through here to hold that nut I tried the um, regular size it does not work and then I got to get a long box end I'm using a ratcheting box end to put on the nut itself the bolt itself actually so I could crack that loose and just gotta slowly ratchet it off it's not much room but um it it'll come off a lot of that's going to happen it's going to keep falling And I'm using one of those offset. Well, they call it offset, but I don't think it's really a true offset. But I'm using um, one of those long offset ratchet wrenches. Okay, it's coming off. Let's see if I could get my finger in there. Maybe I could turn it. Nope. Get this back up.
that's the idea to just keep going, going until it comes off. So that's out. Now for the bottom. So for the bottom, this bolt has to come out. Hold that nut or back that nut off. But once I take this bolt out, it won't slide past the arm right here. I'll do it just to demonstrate it, but there are two other bolts that has to come out. I took the nut off and slid the bolt as far as it could go, and it's hitting the arm right here. And if you come around, see the nut is out. And that's me trying to the shop. Nothing. So the bolt is still holding it. So now I gotta go to these two bolts right here and take those out. Here you can see I got one out already. that one out. Now I gotta get this one out. See this whole plate is loose right now. But that top bolt right here still not coming out. Still hitting. So I gotta take this out. Once I get this one out then I'll be able to take it out. Here I have both of them out. That's what it looks like. They're both the same bolt. So now, this plate moves. And you can see the bolt now is exposed. So, the shock on that end. Now, I could just stick my finger in there, push the top upper bolt out, take that out, and take the shock out. And this is pretty much just a tip, basically. Um, I had, um, I didn't have good angles in filming it but the two bottom bolts for that bracket those have to come out so in case someone tries to do it you may be wondering why you can't get that bolt out for the bottom why you can't get the, the bolt for the shock to slide out then just know looking at it from the bottom up these two bolts you take those out, that's them. Once you back those out, take this whole plate off, whole bracket off, and that's it. Now thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.